Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Nice kick, plenty of distance. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quick out to his receiver. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Slings it. Wide receiver's role in a play action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at. But make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target. Here we go. Feeds it to the back. He tackles him for a loss. I thought they might have been able to exploit the over pursuit of the defense, but not on that play. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 48 yard line, it's second down. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. Here we go, Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Quick strike, and he drops it. So they run the same pass play again. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Sooners and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 20-yard line, second down. On the draw, tackled in the backfield. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. That's a great tackle at the 27. Fourth down, upcoming, as they go three and out. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. Second down and five. Ball on their own 44. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Nice tackle there from the freshman coming down from his position at safety and making a solid tackle on the ball carrier. Coming to you, coming to you. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. This guy is one of the most reliable receivers around. They needed a big play on third down, and he got it for them. From the 46-yard line, first down. 
Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Ball is loose. Fumble. It's scooped up. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Here's an opening. Makes it to the 41. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. And a quick throw. About a five-yard pickup on the old play-action pass. And it was a simple throw right back to the halfback, who did a good job of getting some positive yards on the play. He's at the 40. He makes his way to about the 38. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. And down he goes, right around the 30. He's at the 20. He's tackled at about the 11. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Throws it in a hurry. And they push him out around the seven-yard line. From the seven-yard line. Second down. That makes it second and six. And he's taken down to the nine yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. False start. Offense. Offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch him. is going to be enough to draw the flag. Oklahoma is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. This college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Mike 20, Mike 20. 
credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 3-0, Oklahoma. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Let's go! Quick throw, he's got his man again. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. And he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oklahoma is up by three. He might have a chance. Tackle at the 29. That's good for a game of nine yards. That brings up second and nine. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. Set a tone, fellas. Set a tone. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Dog easy, four. Easy. Inside and tackled quickly. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That'll bring up second and 11. By 22, by 22. Easy, easy. easy. Blair. 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 Go. What about a big play by the defense? He can't hold it. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Dog, kill, kill. Panther two. He goes out of bounds at the 35. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Dog four. Green, pick up. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. That makes it third and 15. From their own 21-yard line, third down. All day, dog. Let's go! Steps up and goes down. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. It's away and it's a booming punt. 
He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Oklahoma's staff right now, I would think, going into halftime, Kirk's got to be happy. I mean, here's their guy not having the kind of game he's used to having. But if they can get in the lead, I think they'd go right back to him. And to think that this team at this point has the lead, and, and considering the way their superstar has played, they've got to feel pretty good heading into halftime, knowing that it's a matter of time until their, their bell cow starts to really start to hit on all cylinders. And I wouldn't be shocked at all. You know, even though they have the lead, and he hasn't played well, you go into the second half, you still got to try to get him his touches and his carries and hope that eventually he catches fire. And who knows what this offense is really capable of doing today. Oklahoma is up a field goal. He might have a chance. And they make the stop right around the 20. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at about the 13. Now, I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Where in the world is he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Five wide. Quickly, touchdown! And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 47-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. From their own 36-yard line. First down. They'll spread the field with five wide. First down grabbed by the receiver, and he's tackled at about the 49. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. three-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Hey, 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 Mike 40, Mike 40. Ready! Look at the scramble now. He can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Number nine on the coverage. That brings us fourth and seven. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there, and they can do better than that. 
That makes it first and ten. From their own 32-yard line, it's first down. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. Easy, easy. Blair, Blair. Black five. Throws a bullet. And it's the senior. Tackle made at the 15. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. Yellow three. First down. Fires quick, he catches another. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Zone four! Go! Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They're at the three. It's second down. End zone picked off. That INT puts them in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. The Cougars taking their first time out of the half. From their own 33-yard line. First down. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. And they got him. We play to half. Oklahoma leads 10 0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here, completely locked in on that first half. It's a two score game at the half. I know things are going as many expected they would. I don't. I got a gut feeling. Maybe uh -oh. it's just from listening to you in the first half, but maybe a, maybe an upset still in the making here, despite the deficit. Could just be some gas bubbles. You never know in that stomach of yours, Reese. Oh, but oh, um, oh. Uh, you know, I, I think Chilly that they can. Yum. <laughs> I think it can. I, they're a team that it doesn't seem like they're scared of the moment. Has it? Has everything gone perfectly? No, but. They still look like a team that's kind of, they're still swinging. They're, they're not backed in the corner and afraid to swing. It looks like that they're going to fight. They got to put a few more things together. Do I have to catch some breaks? Absolutely. Is things going to have to fall their way in the second half? Yeah, but I think they're a team that they, they might be a little bit up for the challenge. Maybe you're feeling something there. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He'll take it from the two. What a collision. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Easy. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 33-yard line. Call it again at 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. About a seven yard pickup that time on the pass. Hey, they picked up an ice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss.
Third down and six yards to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. He airs it out. In the air, it's intercepted. Just when it looked like this offense might be able to put this game out of reach, you turn the football over with an interception, boy, this could come back in a big way to bite you. From their own 25-yard line, first down, they come out in an empty backfield. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down right around the 30. Picks up five on the scramble. That brings him second and five. are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Second and nine. Ball on the 37. They come out in a five-wide set. Let's go. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll make it third and one. Cut in left, cut in left. Two down, two down. 40's a mic, 40's a mic. Blue it, blue it. Throws right, intercepted. Big opening. Tackle at the 19-yard line. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. It's first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. The 10, and he's tackled right away. That's good for the game. That makes it first and goal. You think you won't get this? Back 22, back 22. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. He makes the PAT. Oklahoma to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sooners continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run there as they work the outside. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He scrambles. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 42. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. And 
and that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. That brings up third and 14. Seven yard line. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Quick throw out to the receiver. That brings up second and one. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. First down. Mike 41. We've got to wedge that, huh? Hey, kill, kill, kill! Boom, 20! Run, 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 run! Number 26. The ball for the year. Gain of eight on the ball. That makes it second and two. And he's level at the 41. The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. From their own 41-yard line, it's third down. Red, two, X, kill, kill. Fans are two. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Knocked out of bounds at the 44. That makes it first and ten. ten. Black five, black five, three feet. He's in trouble. Zips it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38-yard line. And that brings an end to the third quarter. Oklahoma's lead is 17. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Reset, cut right. Mike 41. We've got to wedge that, huh? Here we go. Green nine, go! Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he hits him hard at the 33. That's a good Mike 41. First down. Mike 41. Easy, five, easy. Five, five. Flare. Green nine. Flare. Hit. Go. Got it and brought down immediately. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Go, kill, kill, kill! Halfback's got it on the quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 26 yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. chance and they make the stop around the 17 yard line third down has been the charm on this drive now it's been all about execution when it comes to calling the right play at the right time kill, kill, they've been kill. able to do it here here's an opening they'll bring him down around the six yard line Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. Roger, Roger. Five wide. There's a strike complete, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Number 41 on the 
They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Now he tries to buy some time. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oklahoma's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. So now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Just under three to go in regulation. He's going to try and scramble. He's to the 40, decides to slide. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. He's scrambling. He's on the run. And he's tackled right around the 46 yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Quick throw. He's tackled in the open field. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line in the shotgun and five wide outs quick throw incomplete one of his receiver Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That makes a sturdy goal. It's third down, and they come up to the line about nine yards away from the end zone. A little over a minute in the game. He's under pressure. Looks left, finding his tailback. Tackle made around the 13-yard line. That's a loss of three yards. On the field. That brings us fourth and goal. Come on! They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here we go! Black, nine, high. You can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory.
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He gets to about the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Sooners with the victory, 20 to nothing. The Cougars. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.